Okay, in this video we're going to go over how to create an automated search email for our customers. So auto email and we're working with right now some visitors who came to an open house that we did in the Heritage Hills community. And what they're looking for is a home with a three car garage and in the Heritage Hills community. So what I'm going to do is you get to matrix first of all, you hover over the search tab you click on the quick search. That's how I always begin my searches. Um, I wanna make sure only this active box is checked. That shows us active homes only. And we're going to go to this, this community is in Claremont. So I'm gonna type in Claremont in the city name. And for legal subdivision, I'm gonna start with heritage. Uh, and I'm gonna write type in an H there because sometimes communities can, um, they can shorten the name or abbreviate it. So I just want to write in Heritage H. These are all the communities that begin with Heritage H. So there should only be one in the city of Claremont. These people are looking for a home with a three car garage. So I'm going to scroll down to garage and click the yes box and number of spaces three. So now I can see there's three homes for sale in that community with three car garages and I'm going to send that to them. If your search page doesn't have a garage setting, or if you ever see me do a video where one of these criterion is not in uh, your search page, what I've done, I've customized mine over the years. You can add fields, like it says right here, additional fields, add and remove. So I would click that to add a field, now these are all of the optional fields right here. I would type in garage to see what they have for options. And then these are the ones that I've chosen. So again, these are the ones that I've chosen. But if you wanted to add something, you can do garage, you would click this, and then you would click add. And that'll add it to your home page. So that part is done. And when I click results here, we have three homes in the community with three car garages. This is all of them. So I can email these three results to the customer and I can also create an auto search. So the way I'm gonna create an auto search is click save and then it says here, save. save. Okay. And I'm creating a video so I'll share this uh, when I'm done. Okay. Uh, Click save and then new email, new auto email. After you click save, click you want to save it as a new auto email. Okay. And you want to create a contact name. So we're going to do this one, create a contact name. This person's name is Barbara. And I'm going to also call her Barbara and Don. Yeah. And the last name is Meineke, M-E-I-N-E-C-K-E. -E and the email address is barb410 at aol.com. And salutation, I always create. That there's an M in there in between the barb and the 410. Is the, is the letter M? Uh, no, I'm glad you caught that. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, barbm410 at aol.com. Awesome. Yes. And so in the category, I like to try to keep my contacts saved properly. I'll click category, she was generated from an open house. And that's her email address. I changed the salutation from dear to hi. So now it's gonna say on every email, hi, Barbara and Don. And uh, do you have a phone number? I, I don't have a phone number for them. Okay, that's okay. I, let, me, let me see what I do though here. I, uh, um, no, I don't, I, I was gonna say, I thought I had, a. Um, I have the I have the email also for the people that we did meet, her friends Jack and Nancy, but I don't have their phone either. But I've got his email. Would you like that in there? Yep, in a moment. Okay. So uh, I'm going to create this uh, subject line that's going to say um, uh, Heritage Hills Homes with three car garage. Uh, let's see, Barbara and Don. I'll put that in the subject line to remind myself, but they'll also see it in the in the subject line to know that it's personalized to them. The subject line says Barbara and Don Heritage Hills Homes with three car garage. 
And then I'm not going to change any of this pre-populated information in the email, but it says, per your request, I'm sending you a list of properties that match your interest. This first list of properties reflects all the listings in the MLS that match your criteria, which we've done. And once we're all done here, I can set how often they get an email with updates. So considering there's only three homes in the neighborhood, I'm going to put ASAP, which means every time a home comes up in the neighborhood that matches their criteria, they'll yeah. get an email notification right away. Okay. If, if the results were something like 10 or 15 or 30, I wouldn't do that because they'll get bombarded with emails every day and start to ignore the emails. So right. I'm going to click save and that's done. And that is how you create an auto email.